Weight discrimination is one of the last acceptable forms of discrimination in our society. There are literally no federal laws to protect people from it. So a Tyra Show social experiment was created to explore the depths of people's judgment about each other based solely on their body size, whether heavy, thin, curvy, or muscular. Let's check out what happened when the members of our latest Ville Circus of Weight were handed their next task. A carnival cannot run properly without rules and regulations. So the Waitville crew must decide on the regulations in order to ride the rides and see the sights. Waitville has rides and attractions for all ages, but safety first. Please choose five of the following ten regulations. Chances are a couple of you guys eat after six. I don't eat after six. Really? I wake up at 5 a.m. every day and work out for two hours every day. It's called goals. Are you telling me because I'm a big girl, I don't have uh, a goal, I have no self-worth, nothing? I'm looking at it, and I don't know if you have any self-goals. I'm fat right now, and because I'm fat right now, I'm going to be comfortable in my skin. You're talking about self-worth. I'm a single dad with two children. And I think eating after seven is, is healthy. Don't you, you think know? I should be able to eat when I want to eat? Eat accordingly. I mean, don't throw it up. They agreed on most of the rules, but there were two that caused a bit of a stir in Waiteville. Women must be 140 pounds or less. Uh, in our society, I would say that people, there. women over 140 pounds, don't get as much looked at. Between the two of you, I would Please. go for her. I would Thank definitely you, go for this her. Is what it is, baby. I'm a woman. I'm not trying to be a man. Do you have to starve yourself to be in the competition? You have to have like discipline. I've heard of a stellar yeah. called discipline. I'm a black woman, baby. This is how we build. God made us to have breath. And hips. A woman can't weigh more than her spouse. I don't want a woman bigger than me. That, that, that puts me down. Have you ever dated a, a full-figured woman? Never. So don't knock it till you try it. I've That's never it. been attracted to that. You need somebody smaller than you so yeah, you can right. feel like a man. If I'm working hard and you guys are lazy. I don't have to pump weight and, and lift weights and go to the gym and take steroids or nothing like that to be in shape. Round is a shape. You got that right. Round is a shape and it's a good shape. It's a nice, sweet well. shape. AJ and Dobby were becoming targets in Waiteville and they felt the need to set the record straight. I dance two hours in the dance studio every day and I got more dance trophies in your house than you got competition trophies. Are you happy? with the way you are. I am ecstatic with the way I am. Well, if you walk from here to here, are you out of breath? Baby, I will not only walk here from here to there, I will dance for you. Shake it, mama, shake it like a short shake, shake it. Booty, 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 rock it everywhere. Rock it everywhere. Come on, get up there. Let's go. Come on. Hey, right on there. <laughs> the ground is there shaking. Go. Let me see you do that, Mr. Muscle Man. So, AJ, tell me about this dance challenge. You wanted to show him something. Yeah, I mean, I feel like in society, we always get looked at like we can't do everything that the muscle man can do or the skinny man can do. So I just had to prove to him that I could do something that makes me move or that I need to move or be motivated and I could probably do it better than you. So that's what the dance battle was about. And I mean, the competitive spirit came from, I remember one time when I had you know, us land people, we had quinceañeras and sweet 16s. Wait, hold on, you have a what? Quinceañera? Yeah, quinceañeras yeah. and sweet 16s. It's a and, sweet 15. Um, yeah, sweet 15. Yeah, but it's like a sweet 16. Yeah. I understand. It's the same thing, and um, mm -hmm. I had drove four hours to PA, to Pennsylvania, to be part of one because through a mutual friend, and when I got there, there was like that, there's nobody big enough to be my partner, and none of the other girls wanted to dance with me, so that's where the competitive thing oh. came from. Don't ah, uh, because now that when they see me dance, everybody want to dance on me. <laughs> so, you know. Um, how did you feel when Imani said that he has to be with a smaller woman to feel like a man? I, I just can't be attracted to a woman that's bigger than me. You know, I can't have them have my children. You know, that's and just ridiculous. Just, what, what is wrong with thick women? I mean, I'm I mean, why do we have to, to be content? I just All right, feel that so you guys you have are kids, Do you have girls? Do you have girls? I have girls? a daughter. Okay, what if she, she grows up goals. and, and, be, and, and, and is curvy like it's me? Not I gonna think it's not going to happen. I feed her right. She knows what to eat. She eats oh, healthy. So you're going to put her on a strict diet. You're going to tell her not There's to no eat There's no strict diet. It's just she knows what she has to eat. She knows that she has to be in shape. She got her own So it would be something wrong with her if she came out looking like me. I don't look fabulous to you. I think I look good, sweetheart. And this is natural. Like this, sweetheart. I was born this way, That's and right. I'm proud of it. Thank you. Thank you.
I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from you. you just, just I'm said, not attracted to that. Wow. I mean, mm, excuse me. You I just said you just said your kid, your, your your child won't. It won't happen. You can't speak for her. You don't know what's gonna That's happen. That's true. For your you child. don't know. It's not, this isn't natural. You had to work out to get like exactly. that. So you don't exactly. know how but your, you your said, little you girl said is goals for your out. children. You gotta set how those goals for your children. goals for your child? You gotta set an example for your children. It could be in her Exactly. Thank you. What was that? It could be in her genes to be this way. Exactly. I know. What kind of genes you talking about? All right. Tara, can I explain something? Uh, she sure. said he's not attracted to big women, but if you look back at the tape, brother man was always sitting next to me. Woo! Got you. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead. Celebrate. Celebrate. Hey. Liza. You know. As a woman, you said that you find it strange for a woman to be with a man who weighs less. Tell us about that. Um, for me personally, I could never be with someone that weighs less than me. Um, I have a lot of muscle, and I would need someone that needs to understand what I go through, the diet and the exercise that I do to keep my body the way I am. So I need a strong, a strong man that's going to be strong emotionally, physically, and mentally. Yeah. What about you, Nick, a woman that weighs more? I was opposed to that rule. I think if you, you know, love someone for who they are, and more power to you. Yeah. You gotta be real, though. You know, physical attraction is always gonna get you first. And physical attraction. That's See, why you can't be. You can't be. You, you can't be saying. <laughs> oh, oh, who second though? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Whatever. You guys voted me second. I didn't vote for you. I did not vote for you. You didn't get my vote. I voted for me to be yeah, second. But well, you lost though. No, y'all was hating. Y'all was hating. Y'all was hating. We took my. That's not like a reality show. This is not for like a reality show. Sorry, but you know, it feels like the reunion from the reality show, right? Yeah. Come on, Nick. Okay. I like I was right. reality show. You're what? beautiful. I mean, I think it's, it, it there is, um, you know. Some sugar, some sugar. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, physical attraction, you know, is important, you know, but it, it doesn't really matter if you're fat, thin, you know, medium size. Okay, or, um, if you're attracted to someone yeah. for whoever. That, that's so why you're the ringmaster, because you know you're lying, man. <laughs> See, I mean, that's what, the, that's what our hierarchy got. You know what I mean? You're yeah. just, you're just, you're just like, no, I know you've got the muscles, you're, you've disciplined or whatever, but you know, it's like, you don't have the personality yeah, of an average I tell you like it is, I'll tell you the truth. Man. He's in between. I'm not okay. scared to tell you guys Okay, now Liza, you said that, um, that women should be at no less than 140. 40, no more than 140 pounds. Well, I think that together we all actually did that rule, and I would say that. No, no, I didn't vote for that. Okay, well, well you would have to keep the one that said that the woman. Kelly you, and I decided yeah. that, um, you know, people should at least set goals to better themselves. They don't have to be exactly 140 pounds, because obviously a lot of people in here and up here wouldn't be in weight bills. So to make better decisions, eating right, healthy, having goals is basically to work towards a number to have a goal. We'll be right back. Up next, hear the secret reveal that left everybody stunned. They beat me with their own fists. No bats, no nothing. It's just they beat me. That started my journey to where I'm at.